Hi students, welcome to Sunil's tutorial. I'm Sunil Nirwani and today we will be doing this chapter called as matrices. Today we are going to do inverse. find inverse of a matrix. Now, rather tricky topic, let's try to understand how do we do this. So you will say let whatever is the sum, let a be equal to that given uh, sum. So let us assume that a is 1, 2, minus 2, minus 1, 3, 0, 0, minus 2, 1. Right? Now we are going to try to find the inverse by using row transformation. When you have to find out inverse by using row transformation, you will say, I can say that A into A inverse should be equal to 1. A into 1 upon A should give you 1. And 1 in matrices is written as i. A 1, 2, minus 2, minus 1, 3, 0, 0, minus 2, 1 into A inverse is i 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 right now please understand this right you have to convert this into an identity matrix right there's a particular order in which you have to go to convert this into identity matrix i'm going to write the order on the other side right now I'll just show you the order how you have to do it. This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Okay. Now these are the various positions. How do you convert any matrix into identity matrix? Whatever is the number in position one, convert it into one. To convert it into one, you have to use subtraction. Subtract and you can get this. Now see this is called as say R1, R2 and R3. Row 1, row 2 and row 3. By subtracting R1 minus R3 or R2, R1 minus R2 you can get that as 1. Then the number in position 2 and position 3 have to be converted into 0. Right? For converting this into 0, you have to use R1 always. The second term should always be R1. I'll show you this with the sum. I'll just first write the formula here. Then the number in position 5 has to be converted into 1. And the number in 4 and 6 have to be converted into 0 using R1. Right? Similarly, then the number in position 9 has to be converted into 1. And 7 and 8 have to be converted into 0 this is not R1 sorry this is R2 and this is R3 and do we get this idea now let's try to see this with the help of a sum I have to convert the number in position 1 as 1 it's already 1 now I need to convert the number in position 2 and 3 as 0 3 is already 0 I want to convert the number in position 2 as 0 where is the number in R2 what is the number? Minus 1. Where is this number? This number is in R2. What is the number? The number is minus 1. What is complement of minus 1? Plus 1. What is complement of minus 1? Plus 1. And I said that you have to use R1. So this is going to be R2 minus R2. That's how you frame the equation. So when you are in the first column, the second number that you will add or subtract has to be R1. Okay. Let's see one sum. 1, 2, minus 2. R2 plus R1. Minus 1 plus 1. 0. 3 plus 2. 5. 0 minus 2. Minus 2. 0 minus 2. 1. Into A inverse. 1, 0, 0. 0 plus 1. 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 0, 0. 0, 0, 1. Right, do we get this in here? So my first column is done. Now the number in position 5 has to be converted into 1. 
right? The formula says that number in position five has to be converted into one. Now, if I do, where is this number in second row? If I do R two plus two R three, R two is five plus two R three, two into minus two, that's minus four, right? So five minus four will give you one. So this can be written as one two minus two zero five minus two only. Sorry, only R two is going to change. So zero plus zero is zero. Five minus four is one. Minus two plus minus two plus two zero zero minus two one. A inverse, right? One zero zero. Same thing here. R two plus two R three. One plus zero one. One plus zero again one. Zero plus two. That is two zero zero one. Now I need to convert the number in position number six and four as zero, right? I need to convert. The number here and number here to be zero, right? Where is that number in R1? Where is this number in R1? What is the number two? What is the complement of two? Minus two. For second problem, you have to use R2. Similarly, I want to convert this number into zero. Where is this number in R3? What is this number minus two? What is the complement? Where is this number in R three? What is the number minus two? What is the complement of minus two plus two? Right? Now R one has to change. One minus zero. One two minus two zero minus two minus zero minus two. Zero one zero. R three has to change. Zero plus zero. Zero minus two plus two. Zero one plus zero. One into a inverse as it is. Now R one has to change. One minus two minus one. Zero minus two minus two. Zero minus four minus four. R1 minus 2, R2, R1 minus 2, R2. Same thing. You have to be a little good with your oral maths, right? Then 0 plus 2, 2, 0 plus 2, 2, 1 plus 4, 5. Now the number in position 9 should be 1. The number in position 9 is already 1. Now the number in position 7 and 8 have to be 0. Out of which 8 is already 0, I want to convert this number into 0. Where is this number in R1? What is this number minus two? What is the complement of minus two plus two? R3. So now one plus zero, one zero plus zero, zero minus two plus two, zero zero one zero 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 one into a inverse. Minus one plus four three. Then minus two plus four is plus two. Minus four plus ten. Minus four plus ten will be six. Right? One two 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 five. Right? But what is this? This is nothing but identity matrix. I don't want to. Excuse me. One, one, two. Sorry. Right. Now, but what is this? This is nothing but identity matrix. What's the value of identity matrix? One. So therefore, I'll get A inverse is three, two, six, one, one, two, two, two. That's your answer. Right. This you get as a four mark sum in your paper. Integration is a three mark sum, but this is a four mark sum. This is the only four mark sum that you get in the paper.
Okay, let's practice this a little more. Guys, it's a method. If you understand the method, it's very simple. Find inverse of. So, uh, in the second step, you did R2 plus 2R3. There. You could have taken the first row also. No, first row I've already uh, converted into 1. If I would have done that, then this 1 would have gone from this position. Whatever I've already converted, don't use that again. Let's see another sum. Find the inverse of. So, uh, now what does that arrow have signified? Uh, that, that particular row or that particular column will change. In this case, that particular row will change. Find the inverse of this. Right? First of all, whatever is the sum, let us assume that to be A. Find the way at the same time. So let us assume that A B equal to 3, 2, 6, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 5. Right? Then I can say A into A inverse is I. Right? Now this can be written as A. 3, 2, 6, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 5 into A inverse is I. 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 right now remember the method the number in position 1 has to be 1 right there are multiple ways in which I can do it either I can do 3 minus twice R2 or I can do 3 minus 2 but I am not very good with my subtraction so what I am going to do is I am just going to interchange interchange R2 and R1 it is not necessary that you follow this method. There are multiple ways of doing this. How will I get one? I could have done R1 minus 2 R2. I could have done R1 minus R3. Or I can do R2 interchange R2 and R1. I am showing you interchange because their mathematical calculations are less. Therefore, I prefer students doing that. Interchange is change. 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, 6, 2, 2, 5 into A inverse is 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 I have interchange R2 and R1 I want to make this number as 0 where is this number in R2 right what is the number 3 what is the complement of 3 minus 3 R1 I want to make this number as 0 where is the number in R3? What is the number 2? What is the complement of 2 minus 2? R1. Right? So this is going to be equal to 1, 1, 2, 3 minus 3, 0, 2 minus 3, minus 1, 6 minus 6, 0, then 2 minus 2, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 5 minus 4, 1 into A inverse 0, 1, 0 1 minus 0, 1 1, uh, sorry, 0 minus 3, minus 3 0 minus 0, 0 0 minus 0, 0 0 minus 2, minus 2 1 minus 0, 1 right, now this is done I want to make the number in the fifth position as 1. It is minus 1. Or what will I do? Multiply R2 with minus 1. Because minus into minus will give you plus 1. The number here is minus 1. I want to make it plus 1. How do I make it plus 1? Multiply by minus 1. So in that case, this will be 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 into A inverse is 0 1 0 minus 1 3 0 since I'm multiplying by minus 1 all the signs will reverse 0 minus 2 1 this number should have been 0 it is 0 I want to make this number as 0 where is this number in R1 what is the number 1 what is the complement of 1 minus 1 R2 
this is going to be R1 minus R2. So how do I do this? This can be written as 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 0 is 2, 0 1 0, 0 0 1 into A inverse R1 minus R2, 0 minus of minus 1 plus 1, 1 minus 3 minus 2, 0 minus 0, 0 minus 1, 3, 0, 0 minus 2, 1. I want to make this number as 1, the number in the ninth position as 1, it is already 1. I want to make the number in the 7th and the 8th position as 0. 8th position is already 0, I want to make 7th position as 0. Where is the number in R1? Where is the number in R1? What is the number 2? What is the complement of 2 minus 2? R3. Right? This is 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 2 minus 2. 0. 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1. Is equal to A inverse. Now, 1 minus 2, 1 minus 0, 1 minus 2 plus 4 is plus 2, 0 minus 2 is minus 2, minus 1, 3, 0, 0 minus 2, 1. Right? So in that case, your answer will be A inverse is 1, 2, minus 2, minus 1, 3, 0, 0, minus 2, 1. Next. Let's see the next sum, guys. Nice topic. Find inverse of Two minus one zero, one zero four, one minus one one. Whatever is the sum, you assume that to be a. So you will say a is equal to two minus one zero, one zero four, one minus one one. Right? Next, I can say it's a stereotype method, guys. If you understand the method, it is very simple straight 4 marks in your pocket, right? I can say A into A inverse is I, right? So first you write A, 2 minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 4, 1 minus 1, 1 into A inverse is I, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? I want to make the number in the first position as 0. I can do that either by subtracting or by interchanging. I prefer interchanging. So I will interchange R2 and R1. So why not R3 and R1? I could have done that way also. It doesn't make a difference. Whatever you do, you will end up getting the same answer. Right? 1, 0, 4, 2, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, into A inverse, is 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 right once you have this then I want to make the number in the second and the third position as 0 right where is the number in R2 right what is the number 2 what is the complement of 2 minus 2 right so this is minus 2 R1 I want to make this number as 0 where is the number in R3? What is the number 1? What is the complement of 1 minus 1? So that will be R2, right? Minus 1, R2. No, in the first column it has to be R1. Right? 1, 0, 4. 2 minus 2. 0. Minus 1 plus 0. Minus 1. 0. Minus 8. Minus 8. Then. 1 minus 1, 0, minus 1 minus 0, minus 1, 1 minus 4, 1 minus 4 minus 3, 
a inverse is 0, 1, 0, 1 minus 0, 1, 0, yeah, you want to ask me something? Sir, minus 3, it's uh, twice R1, right? No, that's R3 minus, minus R1, 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 so R3 minus R1, right? For R2, it is twice. Now, I'm doing the R2 equation. 1 minus 0, 0 minus 2, 0 minus 0, 0 minus 0, 0 minus 1, 1 minus 0. Right? So my first column is done. I want to make the number in the fifth position as 1. How do I do that? Multiply by minus 1. R2 into minus 1. So this will be 104. It's turning out to be very simple, guys. 18. 0 minus 1 minus 3 into A inverse is 1, no, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 2, 0, 0, minus 1, 1, right? Now, I want to make the number in the uh, fourth and the sixth position are 0. Fourth position is already 0, I want to make sixth position 0, right? Where is the number in R3? What is the number minus 1? What is the complement of minus 1 plus 1? R2. 104, 0, 1, 8, 0 minus 0, 0, minus 1 plus 1, 0, minus 3 plus 8 is 5. A inverse is nothing but 0, 1, 0 minus 1, 2, 0, 0 minus 1 is minus 1, minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, right? Now we are stuck people. I cannot subtract and get this number because if I try to subtract anything, these two zeros will get converted. So in that case, when you are in such a situation, then you use division. Divide R3 by 5. As far as possible, never go for division. Reason? The moment you go for division, you are going to get fraction. And fraction addition, subtraction, you generally end up making a mistake. Right? 1, 0, 4, 0, 1, 8, 0, 0, 1. A inverse 0 1 0 minus 1 2 0 minus 1 by 5 1 by 5 and 1 by 5 now I want to make these two numbers as 0 where is the number in R1 what is the number 4 what is the complement of 4 minus 4 R3 I want to make this number as 0 where is the number in R2? What is the number 8? What is the complement of 8? Minus 8. R3. 1. 1 minus 0. 0 minus 0. 4 minus 4. 0 minus 0. 1 minus 0. 8 minus 8. 0, 1. 0, 0, 1. inverse. Now, carefully guys, 0 minus minus 0 minus 4 into minus 1 by 5. Minus into minus is plus 4 by 5. Right, we do the working note down for the next one. 1 minus 4 by 5. That's 5 minus 4 by 5. That's 1 by 5. 0 minus 4 by 5. That's minus 4 by 5. Next. Second one. Minus 1 minus 8 into minus 1 by 5. So that's minus 5 plus 8 by 5. That's 3 by 5. Minus 5 minus into minus plus. 2 minus 2 minus 8 into 1 by 5. 5 to the 10, 10 minus 8. That is 2 by 5. 0 minus 8 by 5. Minus 8 by 5. Minus 1 by 5. 
1 by 5 and 1 by 5 right now I could either take 5 common from the whole thing or I could leave it as it is I can say that A inverse is nothing but 4 by 5 1 by 5 minus 4 by 5 3 by 5 2 by 5 minus 8 by 5 minus 1 by 5 1 by 5 and 1 by 5 right so that is going to be your value of A inverse some authors even take that 5 common outside take 5 common from first row, second row and third row and then just try the numerator then so it will be 1 upon 25 and the numerator so you leave it here the more the steps you do the more mistakes you will make so it's better that we do less steps and get the answer let's see another sum guys out of this format out now so is it possible in a sum that you get multiple answers? no all of you irrespective of the method that any of you uses you will all end up getting the same answer right so even if in that step with R I would have done R2 minus R1 or R2 no, no, no. later down when you when you have 4, 8, 5 hmm. if you would have divided either 4 or 8 you cannot do that because I need to have this number as 1 if I do any of the other step if I would have divided this by 4 this would have become 1 by 4 so then my whole matrix would have got spot I wouldn't have got my identity matrix next let's see the next sum guys find inverse of Minus three four two minus three four zero minus one one. Right? Now let's see this. Same method guys. Repetition of method. You can do the sum with me. Let us assume that A is three minus three four two minus three four zero minus one one. I can say A into A inverse is I A is 3 minus 3, 4 2 minus 3, 4 0 minus 1, 1 into A inverse is I 1, 0, 0 0, 1, 0 0, 0, 1 I want to make the number in the first position as 1 Now unfortunately I can't even interchange here so what I am going to do, I will do R1 minus R2. If I do R1 minus R2, I will get 3 minus 2, 1, minus 3, plus 3, 0, 4 minus 4, 0, 2 minus 3, 4, 0 minus 1, 1, into A inverse, R1 minus R2, 1 minus 0, 0 minus 1, 0 minus 0. Right? I want to make the number in the second position as 0. Where is the number in R2? What is the number 2? What is the complement of 2 minus 2? 1, 0, 0. 2 minus 2, 0 minus 3 minus 0, 4 minus 0 0 minus 1, 1 into A inverse is nothing but 1 minus 1, 0 0 minus 2 that's minus 2 1 plus 2 that is 3 and you have 0 minus 0 0, 0, 1 right now I need to make the number in the fifth position as 1. Right? I can say R2 minus R2 that will give you 3 plus 2 R3. 3 minus 2 will give you 1. See this. I'll show you this. 1, 0, 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Now, 
माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस थ्री थ्री माइनस टू वन माइनस फोर प्लस टू माइनस फोर प्लस टू इज माइनस टू माइनस फोर प्लस टू इज माइनस टू नेक्स्ट जीरो माइनस वन वन एज इट इज इंटू ए इनवर्स इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू वन माइनस वन जीरो ना माइनस इंटू माइनस टू माइनस जीरो इज टू माइनस थ्री माइनस माइनस थ्री प्लस जीरो माइनस थ्री जीरो प्लस टू इज गोइंग टू गिव यू टू राइट नाउ आई वांट टू टेक द नंबर इन द सिक्स पोजीशन फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स पोजीशन एस वन ओ सॉरी जीरो वेल इज द नंबर इन आर थ्री व्हाट इज द नंबर माइनस वन कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ माइनस वन प्लस वन ओके नाउ दिस इज गिविंग टू मोनर टू दिस आर टू Now no more explanation. I'll directly go on writing the equation. Yes, you have a problem. I didn't understand. How did you take R two plus R three? R two plus. I have three and one. What combination will give you one? Minus three plus. That I understood. How did you take R two plus R? I did R two because I have a minus three here. I want one. What should I multiply one with so that I get? One in this, I can I can convert three into one. Use that logic, right? Now let's move on ahead. R three plus R two. So this is one zero 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 one minus two. Zero plus zero, zero minus one plus one, zero one minus two, minus one. A inverse is one minus one zero two minus three two R three plus R two zero plus two two zero minus three minus three one plus two three. I want to make this number as one. Multiply by minus one. R three multiplied by minus one. So in that case, you will have one zero 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 one minus two zero zero one into a inverse is one minus one zero two minus three two minus two three minus three. Right? This number is one. I want to make this number as zero. So this is going to be R two. Minus plus two R three one zero 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 minus zero zero plus zero one plus zero minus two plus two zero zero one a inverse is one minus one zero two plus Into minus two, so two minus four, that's minus two. Then minus three plus six, three. Two, ah, uh, two minus six. This is going to be two minus six, minus four, minus two, three minus three. Therefore, I can say that a inverse. Is one minus one zero minus two three minus four minus two three minus three. Right? That will get you the value of a inverse. We will stop this here for the day. Thank you very much.